Come on, get out there. Go pee. No, go. Hey, so what's up guys? I'm starting my vlog today and I don't know how consistent it's going to be, but I know I'm going to try to make it as consistent as possible without, you know, sacrificing the ability to create something that's actually interesting to watch. I tend to be a little more routine uh, in nature and so that can get a little bland at times uh, from a spectator standpoint. Um, because I, I try to stay really routine, disciplined, and, and consistent with my schedule and the things that I do. That way I can create the success that I want in life. And, you know, until I get to that point, the interesting factor is probably not going to be as wow. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not Casey Neistat. I'm not Gary Vaynerchuk or Dan B or anything like that. But, you know, I do think I can create some interesting stuff. And I think I definitely do some interesting things in my life that, you know, hopefully I can provide you guys some insight. Uh, maybe a little wisdom from some of the things that I have experience in. Uh, I can definitely learn a lot from you guys. But most of all, I'm doing this for the accountability. You see, because getting in front of a camera uh, really makes you become a certain type of person. And that type of person is typically the type of person that you might not be in reality, but it's who you want to be. And so the, the very act of, of vlogging, uh, you know, daily if you can, uh, is going to force you to kind of step into that role that you want to become, the person that you want to become. And so for me, I'm very goal-oriented and very driven in that aspect, and I want to always, every single day, in every single way, be taking a step forward towards becoming who I want to be in life. And so uh, that's really the objective behind this vlog. So I'm really just trying to be accountable to my goals, and I hope you guys hold me to them. So uh, this is just a transparent look into my life. I'm going to be open with you guys about a lot of things uh, and, and share my successes as well as my failures. So uh, without further ado... <laughs> I always start every morning with positive energy. I make consistent effort to show my friends and family how much I care about them every single day. I easily overcome objections and make healthy eating choices. I challenge myself to make massive strides of progression towards my goals. I positively impact some of life each and every day. I never allow myself to succumb to mediocrity. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Moderation is for the cowards and I am no coward. I always make precise and educated decisions and make them quick because I am great at execution. I constantly challenge myself to achieve better physical and mental health every single day. I, without procrastination, keep my body and my belongings properly maintained and in pristine condition. What is the ultimate vision for my life? To be an incredible husband, father, leader, and successful entrepreneur that creates businesses with amazing, invaluable products and services that make a difference in the lives of others worldwide. To be in unstoppable physical and mental shape. To create endless opportunities for success in other people's lives. To be so financially thriving on a massive and absolute level that I am able to give to my family and friends. 
friends and those in need without hesitation or regret. I am clear and focused. I am full of unstoppable energy. Every day when I wake up, I know it's going to be a great day. I am fit. I am mentally sound. And money flows to me like an avalanche of abundance. I have no stress. My life is great. My family is great. Everything about today and every day is going to be amazing. Because I, Ian Talbert, hear, see, feel it, and know it in my soul and my bones that every fucking thing is going to go my way today. Everything. All right, so just because I get asked about this a lot, this is how I set up my live streams for, like if you guys ever see, you know, a live broadcast of some pre-recorded content, this is how you set it up. I use over here on the right, I've got uh, a program called Open Broadcast, and then this over here is just the Facebook Live window. And so basically what's going on here is I've got all my stuff set up in here, the videos that I want to play. Uh, I've got them imported and set in here, and uh, I've got the stream key from the Facebook Live button uh, communicating with this. So whenever I hit stream here, it broadcasts it here, and then whenever I hit the go live button right there, it's going to start actually broadcasting. And then from so from when when that goes live, I then take my phone here. And as soon as that goes live on this page, I'm going to take that and I'm going to share it out to all of my groups and pages and everything like that to get it syndicated. That way we get more people on the live stream. So now I've got that bumper playing and what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and cut the bumper off and turn straight over to the actual video that I want to play. Looks like we've got about 30 people in here right now building up. So it's getting there. So that, that'll transition here in just a second. There we go. You gotta be careful too when you're using this, there's a mic button right here on your actual computer that you have to mute. Otherwise people will be able to hear you through your computers. If you want them, if you're just doing pre-recorded stuff, you want to turn that off. That way it's, everything's muted and it's just the video audio that you're hearing. We're doing a little tribe promotional broadcast today, working on doing some recruiting. Numbers are picking up there, 39 live. I'm broadcasting this from a buddy of mine named Chris's page, Survivalist Tips. He's got a lot more uh, reach than I do right now. Uh, he's uh, good enough to let me you know, share my stuff on his page and try to build my business and stuff. So shout out to Chris Hughes. So one of my goals this year is to take, uh, you know, another MMA fight or maybe two, depending upon if I can get down to weight uh, on time. I got to get down to 170, uh, or at least within cutting range of that uh, before I fight again. Uh, so that means I had to have to make some some nutrition changes and food addiction. It's just like dominated me my whole life. I've always outtrained everybody. I've always outworked everybody, but I never put in the work in the kitchen like I need to. And let's just be honest, guys. If you're not putting in the work in the kitchen, you're not going to get the results that you need in fitness and health. This is, the nutrition side of things is 80% of the fight and working out hard is 20%. Uh, maybe even, maybe even only 10%. Uh, you know, so uh, I got these goals and I got to make these changes. So, uh, you know, 245 was what I was around January of 2016. January 2017, I'm 215. Uh, here in February, I'm about 213. So I haven't lost much weight between January and February. Uh, I got really, really busy with the business and everything like that, so I wasn't able to, to bear down like I should have. That's just an excuse, but, um, you know, so I, I'm back making these changes, consistently making these changes, and so I picked up these uh, Eco Bentos. These things are really badass. I'll put a link in the description so you can pick these things up. Uh, they're, they're about 15 bucks, so they're, they're a little more expensive than your typical bento box or, or meal prep box, but uh, they keep your stuff really fresh for a long time. Uh, and uh, they're really sturdy, really, really strong, and they're aesthetically cool as well. Um, so, uh, gonna prep up some meals. Got to get some stuff ready uh, for lunches the next couple of days. Got a little rotisserie chicken in here that we'll pluck up and 
put in here one rotisserie chicken makes enough if you pick it all off one of them makes enough cheek chicken for four uh, containers so uh, you know that's four days worth of lunch from one chicken and these chickens are look at that it's only $4.99 so lose weight I'm not trying to eat all this skin even though I would like to uh, I can't eat all this skin though because it's you know counterproductive to, to my goal So the wife's not going to be back till like 3 or 4 o'clock this evening. She actually took our daughter to Pigeon Forge last night to spend some time with her uh, her sister and uh, my little nephew. And uh, so that gave me a lot of extra time to knock out some work today. Got the, the rooms a mess right now, actually. Uh, got the uh, everything from the bathroom out here. We're actually renovating and repainting the bathroom. So I got to finish that tonight as well as all the other stuff that I got on the plate for today. But uh, we're getting ready to go head out. Uh, going to do official reviews on uh, the slide belts survival belts here and uh, as you can see I got two of them here uh, so that means we're gonna give one of them away so keep your eyes out for the official review on that when you guys will be able to win a hundred and eighty dollar survival belt these things are pretty cool so uh, uh, also got my, my running shoes back here because unfortunately the gym got canceled so uh, I'm not gonna get to train jiu-jitsu unfortunately uh, I, I, I hate that I hate missing training but you know that's not an excuse to sit on the couch so i got the running shoes we're gonna change clothes while we're out and, and, and hit a little run this evening after we get done shooting videos um and then we'll come back and got to finish painting this bathroom fun stuff <laughs> Leave that open for you, bud. Just got to my film location. This is where I like to come to shoot a lot of masks videos. Uh, it's just a quick little area to get to right right by the house. A little wooded area so it gives some good scenery. Uh, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get set up. We're going to shoot some slide belt reviews and then we're going to gear up and go hit a run. Really high quality made up of really good wood so they're not going to break easy. I, I can't even, you know, I can't even really bend these things. Real toys. For real boys. Sturdy guns! So I'm shooting on the iPhone now and I got the DSLR set up right here which is what I was shooting on uh, but I've got the rest of my gear in here getting ready to do these reviews but I wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes action so I had to set the iPhone up here. Um, 
And uh, but what I'm finding out is that this is definitely interesting and pretty challenging to to vlog as well as do normal content creation. You know, normal content creation is all already uh, such a big factor of my time. Uh, and now vlogging on top of that, trying to find bits and pieces of the day that I can dissect and kind of put together for you guys, uh, you know, is definitely challenging. And, and, you know, I've got to make use of multiple cameras now, uh, be whereas before I didn't really have to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and shoot some reviews. What's up, guys? Primal here with Mass Tactical and the Warrior Tribe. Today, we're taking a look at the Slide Belt's Survival Belt. Don't go anywhere, coming up. Welcome back guys. So here at Mask, we focus on getting you further, much faster in preparedness and survival. And with that being said, I think it goes without saying that all of us are all the time looking for. Just finished filming. Uh, it took a lot longer than I anticipated, uh, primarily because I'm trying to juggle vlogging in, creating content at the same time. So I'm running out of battery and, SD space really quick, but anyway, now that that's finished, let's go hit a run. Wife just got back home from Pigeon Forge, and I got back from my run a little while ago. So everybody's back home. Hey. <clears throat> that was the Forge of Pigeons. Wonderful. Hmm? Wonderful. Wonderful, she says. So, got a few more things to do tonight. <clears throat> I have to finish painting the bathroom here. We're just repainting it gray. We had painted it with uh, a flat by accident a while back. And uh, so now you can see the difference there. Uh, the, uh, <clears throat> that's one coat of gloss. Got to put another coat and uh, sand that stuff down. So I got to, got to do another coat and then uh, I got to paint the trim. So let's get to work. guys that's gonna do it for today's vlog episode number one so had uh, had a pretty hard time keeping up today uh, pretty much just need to get more batteries and SD cards and uh, you know get a, a real format for this moving forward I'm gonna try to to have a real uh, you know interesting uh, format for the vlog so um, we'll see what we can create I'm gonna hang out with the fam here and we'll catch you guys later see ya